One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is my mom's car. This is a Mercedes-Benz W220. It's the S500 model. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I'm the bigger fan of the W140. But there is no disputing the fact that this car is a little bit more performance orientated than the older, outdated at this point, W140. Now, I like all Mercedes, even the newer S550s. I'm a big fan. They're just too much and they haven't depreciated yet that well. My mom and dad got this a bit before they were depreciated well enough for me. And at this point of the cycle, these cars are an absolute steal. That's all there is to say about it. They are a beautiful car. This one here is in great shape. And God, they look like the best of everything on the road. That's all there is to say about it. Unless you run into a W140. My mom hates a W140. It's the older style. And you either like a classic classic or you want the new. Bam, this is the new. This escorts you into the new Mercedes-Benz models in a very, very nice way. Um, I'm gonna drop right down and give you 20. Show you underneath, actually. I don't wanna be given no 20 right now. Dunlop tires, now they're in great shape. Little, I'd say this is a good 60, 70% tire. Um, underneath, clean as can be. Still even got all the skid plates and everything under it. It's very clean. All this is clean. There's a couple scuffs you can see along the front. It's not cracked all up and nothing. It's in great shape. Um, let's look underneath at the hands. Over there, just nice. Now my dad just got doing the My dad just got done doing a $3,000 plus service on this car. So all the little info warnings and all that stuff. Um, and I think he put a couple tires on the back. I'm almost positive. Yeah, these are, this is the one. He's got five Mercedes and I lose track. Now you can be assured that this thing was grandma and around. My mom is a grandma and this is a grandma car. That's all there is to it. I got a, man, I have these guys do the wipe downs of the wheels and they just totally miss. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Yeah, these two were put on at a different time in the fronts. And I was noticing that this particular front one is older than the rest of Such has a little wear on the edge. Okay. Let's see here. Besides that, let's start showing you the car and going down the sides and showing you any dings, damage, dents, or stuff like that. in great shape. Little marks here and there in the paint. Nothing too serious or nothing. Um, that's bird poo or something. And that looks great. Now going down the sides, it's straight as can be. More beeswax or bird's poop or something. Ding, 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 ding. Tiny dings, I'm not talking about huge dents or nothing, but I'm just trying to show you. That was a ding, by the way. But there's just some dings there that I'm showing. Now down that middle section, straight as can be. Just somebody doored you in a parking lot. Um, light scuff on that wheel, nothing too huge. Light scuff on this wheel, nothing too huge, that's just not wiped down properly. Not delaminated or nothing like that, they're in great shape. Lenses, bumper, all that cladding and everything just looks great. A little scuff here. Right there. Back with you, my camera overheated and I had to take a hike. I believe the crack is where I was at, where it kind of lightly bumped and brushed something. And I believe that these bumpers may have been updated on uh, paint if they were faded, but I'm not sure. 
it don't look like it because of the little scuffs, but I want to make sure it just may have all these cars are like this. They get all faded on that, if anything. It looks good now. A little dip chip type thing right there. Well, it's a ding chip. There you go. That's just, it's been raining today. We had to wipe this thing again down. Down again, not again down. A little bit cleaner on dings on this side, but there's one there, one there. It's tiny, was that one? Hang on. Yeah, tiny ding there. Looks great, everything's in beautiful shape. Okay, I haven't looked at these wheels for scuffs and stuff to make sure. I want to look at all the, everything over again on this. Make sure you see, now I love these cars, they're great drivers. Um, like I say, on the W140, the power is just no comparison one of these. These things are a beast. They're just amazingly quick. Um, it could be the AMG in comparison to the W140. Um, beautiful car. I've got about seven Mercedes on my website in the newer years, not this year previous body style, oneownercarguy.com. A little bit of fading on this chrome trim. It could use a good detail. It could use a good detail. Now this will come off really easy. Everybody was getting these things years ago. Well, I got these like this and I paid him to put the cat on the hat instead of the hat on the dad. There you go. Cat as a hat. There you go. Um, this is a sticker and it would easily came off. Easily come off. I don't know what that is. Some kind of antenna of some sort little receptors for that. I think that's the electronic opener thingy. Lens is in here. Now there's a little bit of fading on that. And that little rubber grommet in there, it's a little bit of checking. And we'll look on the other side as well to make sure. Beautiful on the roof. Some great shape. A couple of little scuffs here and there. It could use a good deep wax. A um, little scratch there I didn't notice. And there's some little chips on the sides of the doors. Tiny. And some little, you'll catch a little scratch here and there. Like there's a couple little scratches there. Um, that's about getting to be all there is to say about it. I've showed you all this. These wheels are in good shape. That's just not being wiped down correctly. And that is a little bubble on it. As such, a little scuff right there. A little scuff. Yeah, they're not bad, but there is a, there's a scuff on every one of them. It's a tiny one, but it's on there. So I've showed it to you. I want you to see what there is. Now, let's look at the tops of these. No, not faded like the other side, but them rubber grommets. Wow, they seem to just turn to grease. Almost over time. Wow, amazing. Okay. That's that. So, roof from this side. This is your exterior video. A um, little bit of checking on that. And that's that. Okay, if there's any questions, you can ring me anytime. It's Nathan. 406-544-6919. I'm going to go ahead and show you the, the motor while we're in here on this one and make it part of the exterior. Usually it's part of the interior for me, but today... These hood struts are wearing out a bit. And absolutely beautiful under here. Everything's in great shape. Best up close look at this that I can. Look at that. Just nowhere. I'm trying to get down in there. Man, I got a phone on me. You're gonna have to see this on the phone. Like I say, he just did about a $3,000 service. And I'll try and get some. Well, actually, if you look in the eBay ad, that don't help very much. I was trying to shed some light on the issue. But if you look in the eBay ad, it'll tell you all that. 
uh, because I'll put a copy of the receipt. And you might even see it on the website, oneownercarguy.com. One Owner Car Guy, hipstercars.com also. Check that one out. And other than that, I'm going to do a last around just to where you can see this thing again. God, it's beautiful. And that's that. Thanks for watching. Nathan, 406 544 6919 W220. Just noticed I didn't tell you about the scuff right here. And also, that's my beagle up there barking. I heard her little scuff there. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Check out the interior coming up next. We'll talk to you. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got for you here today is the interior video of this Mercedes-Benz W220. It's a 2003 in the S500 model. This is my mom's car. She drove it, she was I believe a second owner on it and drove it for, God, three years, maybe four. Um, she loved it and it's an awesome car. I love the power of it and it's, I love a Mercedes. <laughs> no matter the year, I love this. This is definitely a great Mercedes. I like the more square models, the older ones. These are getting so cheap though. I got, look at that beautiful with the sun off of it. Now it poured, so I've already done the exterior review. And while it poured, this thing has got a little bit of rain residue, I guess you'd say. But two days of pouring in between the videos. And that's that. So this is the interior. And I'm going to jump right to it. Hipstercars.com. I got a list of all kinds of cars on there. And oneownercarguy.com. Lots of cars on there too. Just give you a quick up and down here. It's in great shape. And that's that. I'm going to show you the trunk. Just first off, out of character. It's got these little push button there. It's got my dad's little handicap thing. You don't get that. You get this, which just has a couple receipts and nothing important. These are the only books we have for the command nav. And all this, that all comes with it, of course. Spare tire. You know, I don't know if that's ever been on the road. I don't think so. And a little bit of wear in the carpet there. Um, they did carry some things in it sometimes. Six disc changer, I believe, is what they came with. Rubber seals and everything are in great shape. Carpeting, lights, all working. Let's look at the motor. Beautiful car. Beautiful wheels. Okay, let me hang this around my neck here. As you can see, I got some little spots here that are beeswax, bird poop. Yes, my hands are filthy. I've been Scrubbing on other cars. Check out my channel and my website. I've got a lot of them. Hood struts are going to need replaced. So that's a definite need at some point. Well, I guess it ain't a need. Now, you know what? The little grabber thing's knocked off that. But beautiful under here. He just put a big old service on it, about three grand. Um, he just took it in. We have a couple extra ways of doing things, but. My dad just paid the big money. Boom. Just like that. My mom was bugging about the light being on and just easier to pay. Now there's 94,000 miles on this car. Low mile car. Very clean. That is the under the hood. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> My hair's been blowing around all day. It's been stinking weathery. I just caught a glimpse of myself in the window. All the options, heated seats and all that, um, mirrors and all that, windows, windows, trunk latch, seats are in great condition, absolutely beautiful in the interior. The steering wheel is in great shape with the steering wheel controls. There is hardly any wear on those pedals but there is some dust on them. Hopefully you can 
see that? Just great shape. There is the happy medium here. Carpets are in great shape. There's no mats in there. And headliner. Headliner's in great shape. Now these hang down just a little bit. And this one has lost the inside cover for the mirror, as you can see there. Door panel's great condition. Bows. Okay. Boom, everything comes on as it should. And Tell 8 SOS not activated, whatever that is. You got all kinds of CD settings and stuff. You got your nav. No Navi CD. Now I thought we went through this and got one before, but According to this, it doesn't have it, so I guess not. Oh, it was for her Mercedes um, ML. Um, like I say, I'm used to a W140, so take me a second to turn it down. Dash is in great condition. Very nice. Here's your headliner again. Um, oh, what's your... Oh, yeah, this has some different lights back here. Which are all on. And let's do this. Auto also. And like I say, this here is likely not included. It's probably my mom's. Glove compartment's nice in there. It's just a couple. That's the new handicap thing. Okay. Buttons here for ride control and such. I'm sorry if that air is bugging the sound. It ain't bugging the feeling, I'll tell you that. Mirrors and all that are good. There's in and out, up, down, somewhere in the city. Seats all working. Do the test on that. In, out, or out, in, whichever. Up, down. And Got all this little selector there. I don't know a lot about. I do know it does that. I thought it was summer and winter it used to be, but now it might be sport and comfort. I'm thinking on this one. I don't know a lot about this. I don't know what's supposed to be in there. It looks like something's supposed to be in there, but it. I guess not. Oh, this. This opens and there's supposed to be a cup holder in there, but it's not in there. It's broken. This opens up and works fine and all. Um, there's some kind of, oh yeah. I don't know if that's a lumbar support. It is. Um, I just put it in gear like I was going for a test drive. We might in the end for a second. For now though, let's look at the back and continue on with our review of this beautiful car. My hair's flowing around like I'm a mad scientist. I am! I'm a mad car scientist! Get this! It's a steal. Look at that carpet. Just beautiful. Backs of the seats and all. Beautiful. You can see that just fine. Rear package trays in great shape. All your headrests, great shape. You know what? There's a little scuff right there. And again, I apologize. My hands are filthy. I've been working away, working away. Let's do some seatage. Down on that. I don't know why my mom and dad had that house so high. Ain't nobody that tall in our family. Back and up. Um, in and out on that. Forward and back. Up in the front. Down in the front. Up in the back. Down in the back. Boom, buddy, boom. 
one, two, three memory, side airbags and all. Make sure on the year, 403, here's your VIN number. Don't know what that is, maybe the nav. I showed you in the trunk. I showed you under the hood. Did I show you under the hood? I did, I showed you under the hood. Clean as can be. I don't even think anybody ever sat back here. In fact, we just took the car seat out again. Um, that 30 cents might actually still be in there because I'm not gonna take my mom's 30 cents. Oh, I just realized this yesterday. These do have ashtrays. They've never been used, but it has them. Side SRS airbags in the back as well. Pretty up to date on the safety specs and such. Little panel brake shape. This is just put in here to keep it clean. Very clean. I gotta open this side for you too. Okay. Air controls for both sides and such, I believe. Is that how that works? Yeah, up and down. Dual, dual zone. Dual zone up here. Everything's all Yeehaw, ESP buttons so you can go take it off and go burn out everywhere. Factory window shield. And there's no cracks or anything like that, but here's these little surface things right there, two of them. And maybe one right there. Was there a chip? There's a chip over there. Those are not chips. That's one of them same little dink things. But that's an actual chip. It should have it a little $20. Actually, I think your insurance does it for free now. Chip repair. Pretty sure. Pretty, pretty sure. Okay, let's go forward. Backward. Up back, down in the front, ah, uh oh, and the top button just came off, let's try this again, up in the front, down in the front, back, forward, and it was getting bound up by this button, and this little clip came off. And I'm going to say that I can get it back on. Yeah. Maybe I can't. It's all here. So you're going to need that little clip on there. Yeah, it's not staying in this groove. So I'm thinking that little plastic clip broke. One or the other, cheap fix, it'll be in here. Actually, I think somebody should be able to fix that. I'm just not the man right now. Side airbags around, again, around. Okay, that's the deal. I'm gonna give you a quick ride in it. Um, there is the other exterior review and the test drive review. Purrs like a kitten. I would drive this car anywhere. Anything could go wrong on these. A used car tomorrow. Just no, no, no two ways about it. Um, this one has definitely had the bumpers re-upped. It's got a little crink in the chrome right there. That is that. So it's definitely had a little bit of. I don't know if they painted any of that, but I know they painted the bumpers for sure. I don't know about anything else. If they painted anything else, I sure did a good job. It looks good. Maybe the hood, because there's no rock chips. That's what really, really throws me off here. No rock chips is good. It's clean. It's a nice car. Be hard pressed to find a nicer one. All these bumper covers fade on a car of this year. Year. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Might as well give you a quickie review here on the test drive. I'll tell you what, as far as speed goes, it's no AMG but you'd never know it, unless you had an AMG at home. Get out of the way, little crow. 
I want to make you eat crow. <laughs> really wasn't that funny. Mercedes, Mercedes, Mercedes. Everywhere. And then Mercedes. And then Jeep. And it's all here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is. Wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com I'm going to get out and give you an outro of this. Beautiful car. Beautiful car. That's that. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Let's go over here. Let's just go over here real quick. <whistles> Thanks for watching. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. And what I've got here for you today is the test drive of this 2003 Mercedes Benz W W220 W220 in the S500 model. Nice car. This was my mom's car. It's only got about 95,000 miles on it. Um, it's in great shape. A um, couple little dings or something here or there is the worst of it. Um, ship shape ready to go. Dad just put a big old expensive service on it from a Mercedes mechanic guy. About three grand, so everything has been done. This car is ready to drive. In fact, I'm finding it hard not to steal it from him and take a trip to Montana. I do like the way these motors go on these newer S500s like this. Well, I guess it's not as new now. However, the fact is, these are a steal. An absolute steal. Um, wheels and everything, good shape. It's got great tires on it. And like I say, that service he just did, absolutely expensive. I mean, he just took it in and paid him to do everything. I was like, Dad, I could have done this and that. He didn't care. Pay and get it done. So, it is done. Okay. Tele A SOS not activated because I believe you don't have a um, account on this. 94,495. Expect a little more, not a whole lot. Um, all your sunroof and everything. What is that? Oh, a Jabra. Oh, Bluetooth hands free. Wow. That probably will not come with it. I'll bet you it's mom's and I forgot to take it out. So that's the interior. It's going to be a little loud with the air conditioning. Um, I'm going to turn it down a click or two. But I'm going to be a little unapologetic about it being a little loud. Because it's hot. So full seat adjustments and all that in every which way, shape, and form you can imagine. Steering wheel does the same in, out, round, and all that. Okay, and I have it just about where I want it. And here we go. Just a little teeny bit on the pedal, and you're at 35.40 just right now. Whoa, buddy. Just didn't even look at me. have that on camera of him pulling out in front of me like that. Okay. I'm going to slow down towards the top of this hill. Probably scare the snot out of this guy. But we're going to slow it down a lot. Down to about 10 and then... Right now, power. That's all there is to it with this car. And I like the way the tranny holds the next gear before shifting. Now you got to try the brakes and everything with that Yahoo pulling out in front of us. Okay. So I'm really gonna give it a nice go at it. That's as nice of a go as it's going to get because that's 40, just like that. Bam! The car is just a great driver. All oh, these construction guys are taking up every road that you can imagine here. Fuck you.
air dragged it out from the other side there. In other words, they're on the next street over. I had an argument with him last week. It wasn't exactly my fault. It wasn't exactly their fault. But they rent the place right next to us. And it became a bit of an issue. Leaving me all blocked in on the driveway and such. Now, this is a very nice car. I don't know. There's a regular old floor mat over there that's not the kind that you expect. There we go. Zero to 40, just so fast as pitiful. It's right now power. Well. Whoa. God, the car is just... I would love to have one of these newer motors like this in the older S500 W140. My mom loves the dash and the seat shape. Uh, I have not drove it very much, but it is a very comfortable car. We're going to stop here. No blinker. We don't care. We just hit the brakes. We're, we're, we're going to do... all that far. That's up to 40. Just like that. <laughs> I can't give it much more. It'll go way over 40. Let's do it again. Slow down to 20. 15. And just, a, just a half. But a full. That ain't even the full full. That was just most of the full. I'm telling you, the car goes. Look at that S car go. And I've really got on the tranny different, like really put my foot in it and let off and gave it a quick and then a knot. And you know what I mean? I'm putting it through the ropes. I'm wanting you to see, hey, the car's a good car. It runs and drives out really good. And it does. He just put all this full service on it. I would jump in this car and drive it anywhere. And like I said, as a matter of fact, I am having a hard time not doing something like that because I certainly would like to take a road trip in the car. Why not? Yeah, I'm just gonna end this video and do that maybe. No time, no time, yes I tell you. Okay, that was your test drive. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hopefully someday will be able to do these a little bit differently through the video and get them on the highway too. I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick outro looking at the car. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Lots of cars and you'll see about 50, 60 pictures of this car on there. Beautiful, quiet running, just great car. Give me a call anytime, Nathan, 406-544-6919. And also there's a list of cars on hipstercars.com. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, we'll talk to you.